What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a video today on how to calibrate your refrigerator freezer thermometer. If you have something that looks about like mine here, and it's way out of whack, which mine was, I had it in a temperature controlled freezer with a digital readout reading about 33 degrees and the thermometer was reading 50. So I knew that it was off. So I wanted to show you how to calibrate that and kind of how to know when you have it set correctly. There are some videos with a different style of thermometer where it's like a food thermometer that you can put in liquid, like they'll mention crushed ice and water, and use that to calibrate. <clears throat> the problem is this one should not go in water, um, so we're just going to calibrate it using either a temperature controlled freezer like I have, but that's a little bit more unheard of. So I would say your best bet is to compare this to a known good thermometer, or if you know that your refrigerator is pretty much right on temp at about 38 or 40 degrees, you're not freezing uh, milk and uh, it's not warm or anything weird like that, this is just gonna get you in the ballpark and you can fine tune later. So what we're going to do is just turn it over backwards and you'll see right down here in the center is a brass colored uh, screw. That's kind of the center spindle where the needle goes. But then in my case off to the right, if you look down in this hole right here, there's a little tab. And that tab is what the thermometer spring is wound up against and then the end of the spring goes through that tab. So what you're going to do is for a colder temperature, you want to move that tab clockwise and for a warmer temperature, move it counterclockwise. And so in my case, it's right below this hole. So I'm just going to poke it in there and pry that over slightly to turn that assembly. And I can turn back around and check my reading. So I've already done mine. We were at about 80 degrees in the house and that's another way to sort of gauge where you're at, I know that the house is set to 64 or so, uh, and so 80 degrees was incorrect. So I just let it sit here for a while, and we're right above 60 degrees, so I feel pretty good about that. So anyway, I'm going to put this in the fridge and come back and check it in about a half an hour, and we should be right at about 38 degrees rather than the 50 degrees we had a little while ago. It's a half hour later, and we're just checking if we're at about that 38 to 40 range. And as you can see, the test worked. So uh, I should have shown you before, but it was at about 55 or 60 in uh, a controlled 36 degree environment. So I would say we're in good shape. Hopefully the video helps you. If you have any questions, you can ask down below in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.